Hi, I'm Bob, the Mortgage Coach Mitchell, and today we're going to be talking about, um, well, one of the reasons, actually, what kind of came up, what, what brought this about was uh, we're having a heat uh, advisory today. Uh, right now, I think it's like 92, 93 degrees. It's supposed to get up to like 97 or 98 today, and with the heat index, it's going to be up to around 110. So that reminded me of a time when I rented an apartment, and uh, the air conditioner went out and after several hours the uh the uh, landlord sent the sent their handy guy out who spit and glued it back together and got it going um it then lasted for about an hour when we called it it was already friday afternoon and as it was we had to suffer through one of these weekends and that's what got me thinking about this so anyway one of the advantages that you can get when you buy your own house is that you're not going to, if something goes wrong, if the air conditioner or the refrigerator or your freezer go out, you're not going to have some guy, you know, the economic incentive of the landlord is not necessarily in line with your economic incentives. So one, they're going to spit and glue and try to get it, try to keep it, you know, going with as little money as possible, as opposed to maybe spending a little bit more money and having it fixed correctly or actually replacing the unit. And if they do actually replace the unit, there's a real good chance that they're going to replace it with a bottom of the line unit. Whereas if you own your house and the air conditioner shoots craps, you're 100% within your rights to buy whichever kind of air conditioner you want. Now on our particular house here, um, the air conditioning unit was probably about 20, 25 years old. It wasn't very efficient. Um, it was in pretty poor shape to be honest with you. And when we redid the house, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see if I can get a cop, a picture of the addition in here. Um, yeah, I guess you can see the addition on there. Anyway, when we put that in, we went ahead and, uh, we put in a new, a new heat pump system. Okay. Now we didn't go with the top of the line train unit that, you know, that where the unit was four times as expensive and the payback period was going to be something like nine or 10 years. But we did go with a, uh, we did go with a fairly high efficiency unit that, uh, was probably two down from the top of the line. Um, it's a little bit dusty here with the pollen and such. We've been doing some construction here, but anyway, with this unit right here, uh, we cut our, our HVAC bills for probably about 40%. Okay. Where again, when, if you're in an apartment or you're renting a house, the, the landlord doesn't care about your utility bills. Okay. It, you know, and it, it, they're basically going to be concerned with getting out of it as cheaply as they possibly can. So, if you own the house, you can take your economic interest in the heart over a longer period of time. In this particular thing, we paid a little bit more money for the unit, okay? But I think the payback on it came out to be about two years, um, maybe not even quite two years, because like I said, we cut it, we cut our HVAC bills by probably about 50%, 40, 40 to 50%. So anyway, that's one of the reasons why you might want to consider buying a house is so when you fix it up, you can fix it up. Now, in this particular house that I'm, that I'm, in, I'm showing you, my house here, we, we paid $161,000 and some change for it. Now, we've done a lot to it, obviously, but, you know, that's another reason why. When you, when you own the house, you can do what you want with it. Um, we, wanted, we wanted a fire pit. Okay, so this is what we put in. Now, my, uh, my wife's into gardening, so the, uh, the, we got the flowers and that sort of thing. If you look in the background, you can see the uh, greenhouse. You couldn't put that in if you rented the house. Okay, the fact that we own this house, we were able to do what with what we wanted. Um, as a matter of fact, there goes there goes the wife right back there. I saw her somewhere. There she is. Anyway, um, I'm Bob, the mortgage coach Mitchell. If you have any questions about buying a house or why you should buy a house or what some of the other considerations might be, definitely feel free to leave me a message, uh, drop drop me a comment down in the comments, or reach out to me by telephone. Um, I want to put you into a house and, uh, that's what, that's what we're here for. So, uh, if you have any questions and it doesn't matter if you're here in North Carolina or if you're in one of the other States, uh, I, I, I think, I, I just think that a lot of people should, should buy their house as opposed to renting. It's one of the best forms of building equity of building wealth and generating multi-generational wealth. There's all kinds of other things that reasons why, but if you're in the right set of circumstances and you're stable, and you know, you feel, you feel pretty comfortable in where you're going to be for the next few years. Um, consider buying. Anyway, I'm Bob, the mortgage coach Mitchell. Now let's put you into that house.